Now I did forget to tell you about the other circle I cut, and I just used the same procedures that we've talked about thus far, and I had to cut the circle for the ground board for the rocker box to ride on. Now the measurements on that circle are going to be about a half inch less in diameter than the rocker box is wide. So my rocker box is a little over 21 and a half inches wide, so I made this 21 inches in diameter. So um, you don't want this to stick out of your rocker box because you don't want to trip on it in the dark and you want it at least wide enough to where your scope doesn't tip over whenever you're moving it in the altitude. So I make it just barely smaller than the rocker box and I use a piece of half inch. Again, you can use cheaper plywood on this. It can be thinner. Um, you don't need to use three quarter or a full inch of plywood on this rocker or on this ground board because basically you've got your three feet that are going to be mounted and all that weight is going to be distributed onto those three feet. This doesn't get any type of bending or anything. So, you know, that's pretty much it on it. Now, what I will do on this is I want to make a perfectly vertical hole right here in the middle. And that's, I drew my compass and so I know where my center is so I will grab my handy dandy jig that gives me allegedly perfectly vertical holes and we'll grab the drill Okay, so it's connected and I had that vertical as it was so I'm gonna go down to my hole okay all right so I should have a nice clean hole there and it should be vertical. So that was a half inch, by the way, because I use a half inch in the middle. And now all we need to do is cut the three feet that are going to uh, be bolted onto this, bolted and glued. Now here's a situation where you can use whatever you've got, because these are gonna be painted black. I'm just gonna use some two by three, and I'm gonna cut them about three inches by three inches, or actually, I guess this will be about two and five eighths by two and five eighths. That, that's not really overly important. You don't want them too small because if you're on soft ground, you don't want it sinking in on one side. So um, I'll cut those down, get them sanded, and then we will, again, we're going to have to mark where these three feet go and we want them 120 degrees apart because this is 360. We want these evenly spaced. So they're gonna be 120 degrees apart. If you need any help on that using a protractor, just go back to one of our early videos, the beginning of making a mirror cell, and we go over that. So uh, that's it on the rocker box. That's it on the top of the, or on the ground board. That's it on the top of the mirror box. The last thing I'm going to record out here in the wood part of the shop is uh, cutting the wheelbarrow handles, and then also cutting the holes, putting the holes in the rocker box to accept the wheelbarrow handles. Okay, so in my best effort to be thorough with these videos, um, just regarding this kind of simple procedure, what we've done is taken the ground board, split it into three quadrants, each 120 degrees apart, and that's where I'm going to mount the feet. Okay, so we want those feet to go pretty much to the edge of the ground board, and what I have done to mount them is I took a 3 8 inch Forstner bit and I have recessed or counterbored a hole down about halfway. And then I took a, oh, I believe like a 7 64th in a dr drill bit and drilled all the way through to make my holes. So what I'm going to end up doing is I take a stainless steel screw, I put a little glue on the back of the, the foot, and then I mount it clamp it in place, and I'm going to drill it down. So I'm going to demonstrate that really quick. Take my wood glue. OK. 
Okay, so I think I've got it where I want it. Take a clamp. Clamp it on there pretty snug. And then I will drill them down. That simple. And that's how you mount it. 